Hi everyone, if you're new here, I'm Sophie and welcome to this lower body stretch and mobility session where we're really targeting our lower body. So our glutes, our hips, hamstrings and thighs in particular. A few friends have been telling me they need to do a little more stretching for their various activities, whether that's martial arts, running or football or general fitness. So let's really come deep into our stretches and embrace them. If you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe as two new practices come out every week and you wouldn't want to miss those. And if you like this video, please share it with a friend or a couple of friends as that will really support the channel and make me very happy. Now, when you're ready, we're going to start laying down on the mat. So just stretching the arms up above the head, legs nice and long. And find as much length as you can here. So toes stretching away from you, fingertips reaching long. And then hug the knees in, come into a nice ball here. Maybe just take a gentle rock side to side, massaging the lower back on the mat. Let's come long again. So stretching the legs nice and long, reaching the fingertips away from you. Find as much length as you can. And then hug the knees in. Then from here, I just want to drop you to drop the front leg down. So the right leg down. Let's just circle the ankles. So we'll just start with a little bit of mobility through the lower body. Circling one way and then circling back the other way. No tension through the shoulders or through the neck. All right, from here, now we move on to hip circles. So circling across the body, around, open, and then draw the knee in nice and close towards you. That's it, we'll take four one way. And remember that the hip socket is a ball in socket joint, so we can get that nice full 360 degrees around. back the other way. And then from there, we're taking single leg happy baby. So you can either take your peace fingers to the big toes or just wrap the arm underneath the knee here. You can even bend this bottom leg up and then just hug this knee in towards the armpit. Deep breaths there. One more breath. Let's just take a twist. So bring these knees together, just come across the body, open the arms nice and wide and turn the head away from the knees if it feels good. And then coming back to centre, other side. So just taking our ankle circles, you can either keep this knee bent or stretch it long and then just take the circles around. Always important to warm up before we come into our stretches. Coming into our hip circles, circling across, open nice and wide, draw it in towards you. Really try and keep these hips stable. So we're just, we've just got the movement through the hip joint. And then back the other way. That's it. Now our single leg happy baby, bending this knee up if that's for you. Either piece fingers to the big toe or take the hand behind the knee, the arm behind the knee, draw it down towards the armpit. Deep breaths. Relax the neck, relax the shoulders. And then let's come into the twist. Ankles and knees together, take them away from me, stretch the arms long and turn the head if it feels good. Just a few breaths there.
Beautiful. Let's roll over. And then from here, wrists directly under your shoulders, knees under hips. Let's just take a calf stretch to start with. So stretching the left leg out behind you, ball of the foot comes down. And I just want you getting that gentle stretch through the back of the leg. Core lifted, so belly engaged. Take the other side. Left knee comes in, right leg extends long, ball of the foot comes down. Just find that gentle calf stretch. Once again, core is switched on. We don't want any banana backs. And then from there, bring the knees back underneath the hips. Tuck the toes under, we're coming to downward facing dog. So here I want your hands at either shoulder width or a little wider, push the mat away, heels come towards the earth, bend the knees as much as you need here. Lower back and your butt like the apex of a triangle. And you can hold a bit of stillness here or just pedal through the feet for a little bit more of a stretch through the, the back of the legs and articulation through the, the joints in the feet. And then from there, keeping the knees nice and bent, let's just pad all the way up to the top of the mat, feet hip width apart, Knees nice and bent, chest on the thighs, hanging forward into ragdoll. Keep arms long or take the back of the elbows. Relax the head, relax the neck. All right, from here, I just want you to keep the right leg bent and the left leg straightens. Now, either arms down or if that's a little much for you, just bring the hands to the thighs. Just stretching a little bit more through the left leg. And the other side. Bend the knees once again, hands come down. We're going to step back with the left foot. Come to a kneeling lunge. So body up nice and tall. Let's lift the front arm. Take the wrist, tuck this pelvis under and take a side stretch away from me. So we're finding this stretch through the front of the thigh. the hands bring the foot forward a little bit more so the knee is no further forward than the ankle find your low lunge here so again stretching through this front of the thigh and then when you're ready hands come down inside the foot heels hold the foot a little bit wider and then you can either stay up nice and high on the hands or if it's for you, coming down to the forearms. And maybe just a gentle rock side to side, if it feels good. Stay nice and gentle with these stretches. Keep the breath traveling down into the body. And we don't want to tense up or hold our breath at all. And if you'd like the last option, you can reach this arm around and take the left foot for the quad stretch. Just 
just really enjoying this time for yourself, taking the time to give your body a beautiful deep stretch. Release that side. Bring the foot back in a little. Let's step back to ragdoll. Foot comes in, hang forward. Maybe take a little more of a hamstring stretch. So stretching the legs a little more. And let's take the other side. Right leg steps back. Find your kneeling lunge. Body up nice and tall. Let's lift the right arm. Take the wrist. Stretching over sideways over the front leg. Really tuck that pelvis under for that stretch through the hip flexor at the front of the thigh. And then release. Let's come to our kneeling lunge. So coming down a little bit further to our low lunge, sorry. Knee directly over the ankle. Sitting up nice and tall, open across the chest. Just a couple of breaths here. And then hands come inside the foot, heel toe the foot a little wider. And then once again, staying up nice and high on the fingertips or coming down to the forearms. And this is a really beautiful position to bring the gaze inward. So you're sort of letting go of the outside world and really just exploring your internal landscape. So your breath, your heart rate, how your body's feeling inside. If it's for you, reaching the left arm around, taking the right ankle, drawing it in towards you. Releasing, coming back. And now I want you to stretch the left leg out to the side. Bring this right foot in, sitting up nice and high on the sit bones. And we're just going to start by walking the hands forward. So hands come forward, just a gentle stretch through the, through the glutes, through the back of the hips, maybe a little through the inner thighs. And just hold here. to a side stretch so walking the hands around hand next to the calf sweep this arm overhead bicep by your ear and just stretch to the side From there, let's turn to face the foot and we'll come to a hamstring stretch. Sitting up nice and high on the sit bones, belly drawing in, lifting the arms, and then as you reach, fingertips reaching all the way out to the wall in front of you. Bend this knee as much as you need. through the head or through the neck. Walking the hands back up. Let's take the other side. Stretching the right leg out, bringing the left leg in, sitting up nice and tall, folding forward. If you're here, that's perfectly fine. Just stay as Stay wherever you are, and then as time goes on, with consistency and patience, you'll be able to come a little lower. We've got to respect our bodies and meet them where they are.
let's come to our side stretch. Walking the hands over, placing the right hand next to the calf. Inhale, exhale, reaching long. Fingertips really reaching for the side wall. One more breath there, inhale, exhale, can you come a little deeper? And then let's come to our hamstring stretch. So chest turns towards that front foot, bringing the other foot in, lifting the arms, inhale, exhale, coming forward. Deep breaths, no tension through the head or through the neck. And then let's walk the hands up. We're coming to 9090 or half pigeon. So 9090. Feet are both, uh, legs are both bent and feet are flexed. You can always prop yourself up on a cushion or a block underneath you if that helps. Otherwise, if you're coming to half pigeon, bend this leg in, roll this top hip over. Let's inhale and then exhale, folding forward. Stretching through the inner thigh, the glute, the hip. Take this back leg, swing it around. So either coming to easy sitting seated pose here, Sukhasana, or take the foot flexed on top of the thigh into half lotus. Wherever you are, sitting up nice and tall, inhale, exhale, folding forward, bringing the gaze inward once again. Feeling this stretch a little more through this glute here, through this hip. the video and hold these stretches for a little longer if there's a stretch that you really love or your body really needs and then just come back into the rest of the session coming out of it let's take the other side so 90 90 or half pigeon setting up finding length and then folding forward breaths, really sending the breath down into the hip space, releasing tension. Walking the hands in, taking this back leg, swinging it around, either Sukhasana here or half lotus, flexed foot on top of the thigh, sitting up nice and tall and then folding forward once again. From there, pressing up, we're going to roll down onto our mats. So from here, I want you to take the right foot and either, so bending the left leg up, crossing the right foot over and putting it on the ground here, or on top of the thigh or on top of the shin. Then from there, this top knee drops open and you can either help it with the hand 
or just relax it open using a little bit of strength, external rotation through the hip socket, through the glute. Deep breaths there. a twist so let's close off this right leg and you can either keep the knees bent or you can add in a hamstring stretch so taking the foot or the lower leg stretching it long turning the head and taking the arm out stretches, breathing into them, giving the, the muscles a chance to really lengthen and release and relax and get longer. Let's draw that leg in. Let's take the left foot across the right thigh, either foot on the ground or on top of the thigh or the shin, using the hand here to open the knee the th and the thigh or just let it relax open. One more breath there. Inhale. Exhale. Let's take our twist. So as I said, just knees and ankles together. Otherwise, take the foot or the lower leg and bring in that hamstring stretch. From there, you're welcome to take happy baby. Otherwise, we'll take an adductor stretch. So for the inner thighs, either holding onto the inner thighs or the lower legs here and just letting the knees drop out. Relaxing through the shoulders, often we can tense up with the effort. Two more breaths there in your own time. Release the legs, maybe knock the knees in together just for a little bit of internal rotation. Let's stretch the legs long. Maybe stretch the arms long too. Let's just take a couple of breaths here. Breathing in. And exhale. Just a couple more in your own time. And then keeping the eyes closed rolling over to one side and pressing your way up to a comfortable cross-legged seated position with me. Let's just find some beautiful posture to finish off our practice. Sit bones anchoring you to the mat. Rest your hands lightly on your thighs. Find that openness across the chest and pressing up through the crown of the head and then open the eyes. I hope you're feeling great after this lower body stretch. Let me know in the comments which stretches you liked or which ones help you the most. I will see you soon. Goodbye.